Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. This time I I had kind of a an idea. The idea was to have like a cargo container and there could be different sizes of cargo containers but they're relatively the same dimensions but some are smaller and some are larger but because they're the same dimensions you could put like eight small ones into one medium sized one or four medium sized ones into one large one that kind of thing. Oh. Joe the Spectre. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the fold. Oh no, what did I join? Space Cult. But these cargo these cargo containers that just they don't just hold cargo. They are they kind of are the cargo they're a box essentially that turns into whatever you need them to be so you might have like a mission to duna or a mission to the moon or whatever where you drop off several of these box like containers but like two of the small ones might unfold into a, into rovers and the large one might unfold into a little habitat you know that kind of thing so you could literally uh, sort of order on demand these boxes and when they arrive they're just like boxes but then you press a button and they fold out to whatever it is you need it i know it's kind of wild and i don't even think i'll be able to make it work but it's worth a shot so i don't have a whole lot of time but i think i might be able to make a box that pops out to be a kind of habitat that's a good starter box hab that works damn i don't even know how where do i even start hmm i may have bit off more than i can chew a habitat that's a box box habitat a box attack what
Okay, so I was trying to figure out what the wobbling situation was. It was sitting there wobble, and then I locked all of the robotic parts, and that's when it kind of stood still. So I'm going to have to make an action group that once it's unfolded, it just locks everything up. And I'm going to leave these alone because these will adjust to the ground. So if the ground's off a little bit, these will adjust and bring it up to bring the building up to level. Hopefully, hopefully there'll be some level ground wherever it's placed at. But as we all know, that up a long time ago took away a lot of our flat ground on all the planets all over the system because they changed the terrain details to be bumpier and more fun and all they did was take away all the landing sites pretty much anyway uh, let's see unfortunately we can't get anybody to come out of the docking port although you can have Kerbals go in which is very interesting so we're gonna have to figure that out Well, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. Your house in a box, basically. All right, so every, when I hit F9, it deploys the solar panel and locks everything except for these. So now everything should be locked. Yep. And then I can use these if I was on like rocky terrain or something. I could lift it up or bring it down to adjust the to adjust it basically. And when it's adjusted, I locked it. Adjust it, and it's fine. And lock it. And the best part is, is that all the habitats are right side up, so you can actually look out the window, <laughs> which is kind of nice. Which is really kind of nice. I like you a lot. Oh, gonna get a little little earthquake there. Some anywho, that's interesting. Is it being? I think it's I think it's that whole thing where it's moving across the ground. That's what's happening. It's moving across the ground, which is really disappointing. All of these versions and they never fixed it. Hopefully in KSP2, that won't be a problem where it starts sliding over the ground. From what I understand, it's because Kerbin is moving and so it doesn't quite calculate it right. And so technically Kerbin is moving underneath your craft. It's been like that since I can remember. They never fixed it. What a shame. But anywho, looks nice and i hope i can work on some more next weekend i'm um, thinking maybe like a rover a rover from a box that'd be kind of cool but anyway it's late 
and uh, I have a lot to do. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I am Veos, signing off, and have a good night. That's pretty cool. I like that. I just have to see what it looks like on the moon now. Look, that is so sorry. That is so sorry. Okay, fine, 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 fine. <sighs> that is pretty. Ooh, that is pretty. For a box, it's pretty. In the future, I'll have something where they can all connect together. But right now, that's just fine.